Yo, what's good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Byron, man. Ain't done a video in the longest of moments. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little tipsy right now. I've been doing a little drinking. I'm having a good night, man. I had a really good uh, time with uh, some people I was hanging out with and stuff. And I was debating on should I do this video. I, I really want to do it when I'm in a better state of mind because I don't want to look like some drunk Raider fan that's just getting on here and just saying some su stuff but it was but i i really thought about it and i was like you know what i need to get this off my chest you know what i'm saying so yesterday or was it a couple days yeah it was yesterday or or uh actually yeah it was yesterday we released marquette king now whether it's you know to save cap on money or you know you know make an example out of a player that's acting out it is what it is. I understand that's football. It's a business. Stuff like this happens all the time. We cut him. I didn't agree with it. I was mad as shit. I was pissed off. I was like, why are we letting go of Marquette? Especially how he's improved and improved and improved and improved. Especially with pinning his, his punts down within the 20 yards. Done a phenomenal job with that. And if y'all look back on my Instagram, I said that Marquette King got a uh, snub from the Pro Bowl. Thought he should have went to the Pro Bowl this year. Dude puts in work. But that's, 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 that's not why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is the, the feedback from him getting released. Now, obviously, Marquette King has done some questionable stuff. You know the the chain thing with Mark uh, uh, with uh, a keep to lead. It was a low blow to Michael Crabtree. Should have never happened. Shouldn't have done that. It was a fucked up mistake. Even Bruce Irvin called him out and go like, "You don't do that, man." Like especially to one of your boys. Shouldn't have done that. Marquette was wrong for that. And the penalties uh, that he got. I think it was two years ago. So uh, a ref threw a flag. Marquette picked it up. He did a little dance with it. Threw it on the floor. It was a 15-yard penalty. Shouldn't be doing that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing that. And he got a penalty this year in Denver. And, you know, you know, those are things that Marquette shouldn't do. But I want to point out something. This is what blows my mind. Why is most of the Raider Nation now just switched up on Marquette King? Last week, everybody loves this dude. Everybody, you know, he's an entertaining punter. He's cool. He has swagger and all that. Then when he gets released, people see I've seen a lot of people go like, huh, deuces, Marquette King wasn't a real Raider. You know, you, you did that thing with the chain. Deuces, you're out. He's a team distraction. He's a diva. Self-centered, you know, just a, a cost, a, a, a distraction to the team. And here's here's my response over this man. Now, granted, the chain thing, disrespectful, shouldn't have done it. Low blow to Crabtree, but that happened two years ago. Hasn't done nothing like that. I don't get 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 the hate for it. Now it was fucked up. Like I said, it, it's it's still fucked up. But why all of a sudden now this shit is being brought brought up? If, if you catch my drift. Another thing, Raider Nation has said. Well, not I'm not gonna say Raider Nation, but I've seen some people go like, he's a team distraction because he's always posting on social media. Please show me the video that's distracting to the team. I've been on Marquette King's Instagram. It's him just posting funny videos or him doing something crazy or or going to the Oakland Athletics game with a with a with a Raider helmet on. That's distracting to the team, I guess. There's a punter by the name of Pat McPhee. He does entertaining videos, you know, different type of videos. But it's labeled as entertaining when he does it, but when Marquette does it, team distraction. He's a diva. 
Oh, he's always celebrating after his punts. Wasn't a wasn't there a rule just passing t in this year saying players could celebrate? Why all of a sudden now it's a problem with Marquette King? Marquette King has not been in trouble with the Raiders. Hasn't done anything that's, you know, like, oh, shoot, we need to get rid of this guy. He's not no damn Terrell Owens. He's not. Now, does he like the spotlight? Yeah. But, hey, it is what it is. That's Marquette. That's what Marquette does. Why all of a sudden now, now it's just like, oh, it's a distraction to the team. You get what I'm saying? Why all of a sudden now, oh, he a fake Raider. All of a sudden now, oh, he was a distraction to the team. But last year, nobody was saying this. Till now. It's not until he was released. If you went, if right when the season ended, and you would have asked most of the Raider fans, what, what do we need to do in the offseason? Didn't, didn't see anybody say, oh, we need to get rid of Marquette. Marquette's a distraction. Marquette's always celebrating. Marquette's always on social media. Like I said, I would love to see the video that, that's distracting. Or there was a, a video posted of uh, Marquette King uh, doing an interview with uh, uh, somebody on NFL Network. He had the, uh, his little robe and the king. And, you know, and some people don't like that persona, and I understand. But like I said, ain't nothing hurting nobody. And he said, oh, uh, I haven't seen Chucky yet, but I can't wait to see him. I, I, I can't wait to see him turn red or something. And some people thought that was disrespectful. But we all know Mark Kick King, that's what he does. I don't think John Gruden really looked at that and said, oh, this is a problem. That's Mark Marquette always is a joking type of person, isn't he? Am I right? Am I right? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm the, I just I just find it weird that people are now switching up on Marquette King right when we release him. Now all these problems is coming out. But generally, the dude is a good dude. Doesn't get in trouble. Now all of a sudden he's cut. Now, now people want to bring bring up all the stuff that you know he did. Yeah, granted, like I said, shouldn't have done it, especially with the uh, the flag incident and the chain snatching. But I just I just want to know right now. I don't, I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm a little tipsy, so you know it is what it is. But let me know. Am I overreacting? But I just find it funny now that people are switching up on Marquette King now. After this situation, but nobody was talking about this then. I don't know, man. But hey, it is what it is. He is no longer with the team. Marquette King, man, thank you for everything that you've done for this Raider Nation. Putting the silver and black on your back. You were an entertaining punter. And not only were you entertaining, but you were getting better and better with time. Hate to see you go, man. Wish you the best of luck. Once a Raider, always a Raider. But y'all let me know down in the comment section. Am I am I tripping or 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 am I, you know, let me know what y'all thinking in the comments. But I just I just find it weird that everybody's all of a sudden just switched up on Marquette King after all this. But anyways, love y'all Raider Nation, and I'll see y'all in the next video.